PT cruisers are the worst. Just kidding, I love Carl, and yes, I named my car Carl, but PT cruisers are prone to battery and engine problems, so that's why he is kind of the worst sometimes. If you don't take care of your car battery, you're gonna have to spend a couple hundred getting a new one every year, like me. What I have here is the Micro Start jumper, battery jumper, and I totally recommend it because it's been a lifesaver for me and my PT Cruiser. And basically it's light, you barely have to charge it, you put it in, jumps the car, and um, yeah, it's good to keep in the car for emergencies. So how do you use this battery jumper? Well, I'm gonna show you how, so let's get cracking. Once you get the Micro Start X10, you'll need to charge it. Plug it into a wall outlet and leave it for four to four and a half hours to fully charge. When it's done, attach the start jump clamps to the portable battery and you're ready to jump your car. Open the hood of your car. Then locate the battery. Each battery has a red terminal, which is positive, and a black terminal, which is negative. Attach each start jump clamp to its corresponding color terminal. You'll know you connected it correctly if you see a solid green light above correct. If it's blinking, that means your car battery has a low voltage. Press the boost button to help start it, but be careful because this makes the start jump clamps live and the high amperage can cause sparks or heat. Start up your car to see if the portable battery jumps it. If it doesn't work the first time, I usually let it charge for about 15 minutes, and then I'll try again. So how often does my car battery die? Well, I can find his battery dead after a few days sometimes, and the longest was probably two weeks in the winter, and that's the worst time because the life of the battery is reduced if it falls into discharge. And what that means is when the temperature falls below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the liquid in the battery could freeze and that damages the cells. So the battery loses its initial strength. So the 15 minutes are up, let's try again. When your car successfully starts up, disconnect the MicroStar portable battery. If you have a casing for your battery, put it back on. Then close your hood and make sure it locks. If your battery was dead for a few days, you may need to change the time on your car's console. And now Carl's all charged and ready to go. I hope this helped with your car struggles and if it did, give us a like. And if you want to learn more about cars or just anything in general, check out our how-to hub. Well. I gotta go, so I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>